welcome to another script case tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at using reCAPTCHA to authenticate your users as humans and not bots or robots. My name is Nate Carpenter, and I'm going to be helping you out today, showing you how to do this. So let's get started. So script case integrates with the Google reCAPTCHA protocol. So to get that set up first, before we can uh, go into script case and start integrating it there, we first need to set up a reCAPTCHA. So we need to go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA. Once you're there, it'll load this page, and you can sign in here at the admin console. If you don't have a Google account, you have to create one, but once you have one, it should be pretty easy. You can click on that, and I'm already connected, but it'll allow you to connect to your Google Gmail account. And as you can see, I already have one set up here, but I'm going to set up another one. So I'm going to click the create the addition sign right here to create a new one. And we can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it SC Demo. And right now, script case supports the version 2 reCAPTCHA. So add that. And we just need the I'm not a robot checkbox. That'll give you the little checkbox. And then you need to add the domain which this reCAPTCHA will be run on. So I'm going to add my domain there. And then you can add owners. It already is going to add yours, but you could add another owner. Then you need to accept the terms. And if you want alerts, you can send any alerts there. And then hit submit. And it's going to create the reCAPTCHA there. So now that we have the reCAPTCHA set up, now we have a site key and a secret key. And these two items, these, these two pieces of data, are going to be what we use to integrate reCAPTCHA inside of our script case application. So let's go to our script case application. We're going to integrate it in two different ways. One, I'm just going to show you how to do it a basic way inside of a control application that will stop a control from submitting unless uh, it properly authenticates them as a human. And then I'm going to show you how to integrate it into the security module. So let's first do the control application. So we're going to go up here and click create new application. Control application. Control reCAPTCHA. Like so. Click create after we named it. And we do have to create a form, a field, but it's not terribly important what that field is, so I'm just going to leave it as a name field. Like that. Could create the field. That's just kind of a placeholder right now. You, of course, can add any fields that you might need for your application. And then we're going to go up here to security the add, to add the reCAPTCHA. So here you have the CAPTCHA option. And we're going to change this to reCAPTCHA like this. And so here we have the site key and the secret key and a few other settings that you could set optionally to control what it looks like. Right now we're just going to worry about the site key and the secret key. So let's go copy those from our Google reCAPTCHA admin console. So here we can get the site key, click here and it'll copy. And then we can paste it in this field. And then we'll get the secret key. Copy that. Go back and paste it inside of script case. And then we can hit save. And just so we can see that this is actually validating the reCAPTCHA and coming back, we're going to add a little alert in. And since we know that they are humans, we can say, hello human. Move that. Okay. So now they should uh, be able to check the box. And if it validates them as a human, then they'll get a little message saying, hello, human. So let's go ahead and run this application. See if this works. So we can fill in something for name. And then if we don't check the box and try to hit OK, it'll give us an error saying the reCAPTCHA is missing input response. So this time we're going to check the box. Circle around. It says we're not a robot. So let's click OK now. And we get our alert 
recognizing that we're humans. So that's great. It's always good to be validated as a human. So click, click OK. Now we're going to create a security module that uses this reCAPTCHA in the login page. So let's go ahead and close up this control. We won't need it anymore. And we're going to go up to the top blue menu and modules and then security. And we're going to do group security. And we're going to choose our connection, choose our table prefix. So it doesn't override any other tables. We can click next. Created all of our tables here. Don't need to do anything on this screen right now. Click next. And then we need to go to this option first. This is the captcha option. Just like we saw on the control, it's almost exactly the same. Choose reCAPTCHA. And then we're going to have our site key and our secret key. So let's go ahead and copy those again from the Google console. Copy our site key. Paste it here. Copy our secret key. And paste it here. And then we just need to rename the security applications and the folder that they're going. So that's all done. Point it to our menu application. And then we can click next. Just go ahead and click OK. We don't need to review any other options at this time. Don't need to review anything here. We can hit next. Hit next again. And now we can generate our security. Wait for it to generate here. And then generate the source code. Okay, and it's all generated. So now we can open our project. And once that loads, then we can go in our security CAPTCHA um, folder. We can go to our login application. If we open that up, we're going to see it's set up much like the control application we just set up. So we go to security, and we can see the CAPTCHA settings right there. Now let's go ahead and run this and see how this works. Okay, so here we have a standard login page, but we have the CAPTCHA, the reCAPTCHA right here on the bottom to prevent any robots from trying to log into our page. So if we click log in here, as you can see, it's missing the reCAPTCHA response. So let's close that error message. And now let's check the box. Let it check if we're not robots, and we are not. So now let's click login. And there we are, we're logged into our system, and everything is set up. So that's how you set up a reCAPTCHA user authentication inside a script case using Google's reCAPTCHA protocol. I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next video.